I've got some leftover mashed potatoes, so I'm going to make up a fantastic little snack that'll be perfect for your next party as finger food. It's time for some mashed potato pancakes on the One Pot Chef. <laughs> mashed potato pancakes. These are so easy. First things first, in our little mixing bowl, I've got two cups of mashed potato. It's just cold. There's nothing fancy about it. Um, if you haven't got any leftover, you can just mash up enough potatoes to make two cups of mashed potatoes. I'm going to season with, with some salt and with a little bit of pepper. Lovely. I'm also going to add in one egg, which I have just lightly beaten. Adding in six tablespoons of plain flour, just toss it straight in. I'm just going to mix that together until it's all combined. I'm also going to add in a quarter of a cup of milk and just stir that through. That's our pancake mixture made. You can see it's sort of a thick lumpy goo, but trust me when these fry up, these are going to be absolutely fantastic. We're just going to drop dollopfuls of this mixture into the fry pan and we're just going to flatten it out slightly with the spoon. There we go. Another one in there. Now these take about roughly a minute each side, but of course you don't have to be specific. Basically you just watch by the eye. They should be nice and golden on both sides because everything in them is already really cooked. You're just basically browning them up. As you can see, these are starting to crisp up and go nice and golden. Absolutely delicious. Now, I'm just doing this over a medium heat in the fry pan. Lightly oiled fry pan. Don't go crazy with the oil. You don't need a lot of it. Basically, we just want to gently fry these up, make them nice and golden. And here are our finished potato pancakes. Now, this mixture made about 12 or 13. Uh, if you're making them for a party as finger food, what you need to do is make them little smaller ones, maybe sort of teaspoon size amounts, you'll get 20 or 30 easily. If you're serving them at the party, top them with some lovely toppings, maybe some cream cheese, some smoked salmon, you can put anything you like on them and they are absolutely to die for. So I am going to eat one of these beautiful little babies right now. Mmm, so yummy. They're soft, but they've got a sort of a crispiness on the outside, almost sort of creamy taste. It's really nice. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this recipe. Check out my other videos at onepotchefshow.com and all of the ingredients are in the description below. Until next time, see you later.